form faster and slow it down quicker. So I honestly think for this test, this is gonna be a pretty close one, but let's go over to the plates. I'm only gonna go back about 10 yards or so. Let's see what happens. All right, so here we go with the hammer first. I'm gonna attempt to go to the top half or so, but uh, this thing sighted in at 100 yards, so at, for at 10 yards, I'm gonna try to go for the top half of the plate here. Oh my, that really rocked those plates. Let me grab the dragon claw. I hope that was enough plates. Let me actually, let's go take a look first. My goodness, if that wasn't enough plates then I just wasted a whole bunch of money on plates. Ugh. I just thought for absolutely sure that 600 was gonna be enough. But uh, yeah, we got it. Maybe a little bit higher than I should have, but. Uh, Aha, so this just got slapped back. Looks like 300 plates was enough to stop that, but I'm still gonna put that behind it or somebody's gonna say, that dragon call, that wasn't fair because this one had to wait behind it. So now we know, it looks like it's probably got stopped in right there around 150 plates or so, but let's go grab that dragon claw and see what happens. Woo, that really rocked those plates. A lot of energy getting stopped there. All right, now for the Dragon Claw. This one, like I said, it's a single loader. So I'm gonna get that in there. We're gonna go full power. And uh, let's see what happens. Iron sights on this one. Good solid hit. Doesn't, didn't look like the plates got rocked back as much, but that could have helped us in getting it through more plates. Let's check it out and see what happened. So going up to the plates here, remember the top one was the Umarex hammer. This one in the center there, come on camera, focus on me. It is super bright out here today and the camera's not one to focus. Anyways, the one more towards the center was a dragon claw. Now let's split this and see, did the dragon claw go past 300? Doesn't look like it. So, Let's find that lead. I'm going to take this in in the shade and help us see a little better. All right now, so here in the shade where I'm cooler and we can see a little bit better. Remember the top, that was from the hammer and the middle, that was from the dragon claw. So let's just cut this open and see what happens. This is some serious science here. We can't be messing up the plates. So Try to keep this all together. I think I see some lead already, maybe. Also, this is gonna tell us, does that lead break up or does it stay together? I'm gonna guess it's pretty soft and a lot of this lead's gonna be in pieces. But let's just start opening it. Remember the top was the hammer. It's just, uh, I don't think there's anything in that, right? Still going through there and up here oh so look at that so off of that there's only stuff on the top and not on the bottom so that tells me either the yeah let me put this front piece back on so it was like that the dragon claw went less than the hammer already we see I'm gonna have to split this up in smaller pieces at a time so Check that out. Wow. Pretty interesting what it's doing too. Is that something? No, it's just dark. So this is punching, I'm trying to hold this all together. This is punching pretty big holes at that point. You can about stick your whole finger through there. Let's see, can we find it? Little pieces at a time. Got to be some lead in here somewhere. Yeah, look at how big the holes are. That's the dragon claw. So that definitely, uh, that lead really mushroomed out a bunch faster than the hammer. Which again, some of that has to do with the speed and some of that has to do with, look at that. That's punching like a quarter size hole through there. And some of that has to do with the 
just the type of lead. Oh, there we go, right there. So there is the projectile from, interesting how it stayed together. I said it might break apart, it didn't. I'll put these together at the end so we can compare them. But that's the 50 cal projectile from the Dragon Claw. And we're gonna keep that stack here. This stack is how many plates it took to stop the Dragon Claw. Now I'm wondering, are we gonna find it all in one piece from the hammer as well? So, there it is, right there. Y'all see it? Boom. So, let me grab that. I think it's stuck in there. I'm gonna break my knife here. How about a 22 mag boo lighter? Huh, man, that's in there. These uh, hammer projectiles, when I chronographed them, were going 950 feet per second, and, or give or take a few. So, uh, how about a random spare wrench? There we go. That is cool. That is super cool. So, before I mix these up, I'm gonna put some marker on the bottom of the hammer one, and I've got that on recording in case I forget. Now, let me count all these plates real quick, and I'll come back and tell you how many plates for both, and then we'll take a closer look at these. All right, so counted the plates, and the results are in. This is the stack that only the Dragon Claw stopped. And this is the stack that the hammer went through that much more. You can see almost about the same height, but counted the plates. The Dragon Claw 2 got stopped by 64 plates. The hammer went through this stack and this stack, which was 139 plates, which means the difference of 75. So the hammer in this video went through over twice as many plates as the Dragon Claw 2. Now let's look at those projectiles. Right afterwards, I drew H for hammer. So we know this is the hammer one. And then this one is the Dragon Claw. But you can see, pretty cool, pretty interesting to see that lid and how it deformed and got caught in those paper plates. Again, the hammer and the Dragon Claw. Pretty wild, pretty cool that we caught those. Gonna add those to our projectile stash over here. Check this out. This isn't even half of what all we got, but we've got our bunch of blue lights that we've caught. That one's pretty cool. But yeah, what am I saying? They're all pretty cool. We got a bunch of these stuff. Man, that was a whole lot of fun. Honestly, I had no idea what would happen. Like I said, I thought it might be kind of even, but hey, let me know which team you are on. Are you team Dragon Claw? It even has a dragon on it. How cool is that? Are you team Dragon Claw or are you team Hammer? Both of them air powered 50 cals. Both of them very cool. Unique in what they can do. Uh, but yeah, this one's a single loader, but it can fire the air bolts. This one has a magazine and it sends them a little bit faster. This one, you can get quite a few more out of it whereas this one you're going to be filling up the tank more but hey both awesome both super cool both a whole lot of fun like i said comment down below which one of those two 50 cows you like better and why i read all the comments and i'm always interested to see what you guys think but hey again like i said if you haven't checked out pyramid at pyramidair.com that's where we get all of our air powered stuff and more appreciate you watching We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. Lots more videos on the way. Hootie hoo! Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can.